Hey folks, thank you for tuning in for another Elden Ring boss guide. This time it's all about Godfrey and Horalu. This is a two-phase fight where he does transform into his original form as Horalu when he's got all that bloodlust going on. I like to call him Macho Man Randy Savage, that's what he reminds me of. But that is what this fight is all about. Now, I'm going to simplify this fight really quick before we go in. I like to think of it like this. You dodge towards his left leg, and in between his combos, when he's done swinging, you can hit him real quick. That's pretty much the entirety of phase one, outside of a couple things. And then for phase two, the moments where you hit him are in, like, just after he does his command grab attacks. He has a couple different moves where he tries to grab you, and he'll try to, like, slam you into the ground and stuff. If you dodge that, it'll leave him open for a quick attack, or maybe even two or three if you're fast enough. And so I'm going to really highlight that during this fight. With that said, let me, uh, seppuku to lay down the big damage and get this started. This is my first playthrough ever using this much bleed stuff before, and I'm not going to lie. I can see why people use it like crazy. Now watch. I'm going to dodge towards his left leg, and it's going to be, it's going to be good for us. It's going to be very good. Left leg. Left leg. Left leg. Left leg. Left leg. Left leg action. Okay, when you see him twirl his axe over his head and then uh, slam the ground, you basically need to run away at that point because he's doing the big ground slam. It's pretty easy to get away from once you get used to the idea. Again, stay on that left leg, guys. Stay on that left leg as much as possible. Left leg action. I got smacked. Let me heal up. There's the twirl over the head, so we need to leave. Dodge it just like that. All about that left leg action, baby. We are big fans of Godfrey's left leg in this channel. Big fans. There's the twirl. We need to back up. All right, let's lure him back to the center. He's about to go phase two here. He'll also do this attack right here. If you watch the base of his axe, the handle of the axe, as soon as it hits the ground or just before it hits the ground, that's when you want to jump. This is like a mini phase two inside of phase one. It's overall not that big of a deal. You just need to make sure that you jump or dodge just as the handle of the axe hits the ground, so that way the wave doesn't hit you. And then all of his stomps become like large wave, large wave attacks, which means no matter where you are in the arena, they can hit you. So you just need to make sure that you dodge carefully. Will be Unfortunately, Sirash goes down here. Good if you don't know the lore, Sirash is actually responsible for maintaining Godfrey's bloodlust. So when Godfrey does want to go full bloodlust mode, he unfortunately has to get rid of Sirash. He has to sacrifice him in order to do so. Sad boy hours. Can I get an F in the comment section for Sirash, please? Thank you. Poor guy. Poor kitty. And like I said at the beginning of this video, specifically the second phase of this fight, you really want to focus on hitting him after he tries to grab you. It is something you have to get used to. It has a very delayed, delayed dodge to it. But once you get used to it, you're going to find that those are the best moments to strike him. It doesn't mean that you can't strike him at other times, but those are the single best moments to, and I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to defeat him with that tactic, so that way you understand. I try to make these guys, as, these guys as new player friendly as possible, and I like to highlight the moments in which it makes the most sense to attack. So let's do that with this fight as Horalu. Let's do this. He's going to open up with a command grab. We want to dodge and then strike. Dodge, strike him a couple times, and then we back off. From here, we just wait for more command grabs. You'll see he has a whole bunch of different combos that he can do. Lots of ground stomps, lots of swing of his feet and hands, a lot of jumps and pounces. Here's a command grab. We dodge it. We hit him. He has the scream as well that can hit you, but it doesn't do damage. And then he has the ground pound, which you do need to jump or dodge out of the way of that. It hits the ground twice. Here's another command grab. We dodge. We hit him. We back up. 
Now this is the same thing as phase one where he hits the ground with the handle of his axe. It's the same idea here. If you are close enough in that moment, you can actually hit him at the end of that as well. So that's a thing too, keep in mind. As you can see, the roar does no damage, but we keep hitting him after his command grabs, and that's allowing me to do a lot of damage to him with minimal risk. From there, once he turns into the mini phase two in the major phase two, where he just makes all the waves of damage everywhere, you just need to jump over those or dodge through them and wait for the command grab attacks to finish him off. That's pretty much what this fight is. From there, I just keep running away from him. We dodge, we attack. I got a little greedy there, but it's fine. He tried to command grab me again. That heal was worth it. We just wait for more command grabs. We just keep jumping over the waves. Here's a command grab now. We dodge, we strike, we back off. Here's the ground pounds. Get out of the way of that. Wait for more command grab attacks, guys. Here it comes. We hit him, we back off. We just repeat this cycle until he's dead. Over and over and over. There's command grab, we hit him real quick, we back off. Very good, here another command grab. We finish him off and that's the game. As you can see, as long as you focus on those command grab attacks, I know I'm saying, it doesn't even sound like a real combo of words anymore. Command grab, command grab. But as long as you keep dodging those attacks and then counterattacking him, once that animation is over, you can land a lot of free damage on him and then just run away, keep yourself alive. That's how you take out Horror Lou easily. With that said, folks, I hope this video does help you. I know it's a lot to take in in a short amount of time, but it is worth practicing those specific moments. Anyways, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you soon for more.